Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a Relio Trulio little pet dragon. Now the little black kitten's name was Ink and the little gray mouse, she called her Blake. The little yellow dog was as sharp as mustard, but the dragon was a coward, so she called him Custard. Custard the dragon had big sharp teeth with spines on his back and scales underneath. Mouth like a fireplace, chimney for a nose, and Relio Trulio, daggers on his toes. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bears, and Ink and Blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as fierce as a tiger in a rage, but Custard simply cried for a nice safe cage. Belinda tickled him, she tickled him unmerciful. Ink, Blink, and Custard, Mustard, rudely called him Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the Relio Trulio, cowardly dragon. Belinda giggled till she shook the house, and Blink said, Bleak, which is giggling for a mouse. <laughs> Ink and Mustard rudely asked his aid as Custard cried for his nice safe cage. Suddenly, suddenly there came a great sound. Mustard growled and they all looked around. Mewch, cried Ink, and ooh, cried Belinda, because there was a pirate climbing in the window. <laughs> pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. His beard was black, one leg was wood. It was clear this pirate meant no good. <laughs> Belinda paled and she cried, help, help! But Mustard fled with a terrified yelp. Ink slithered down to the bottom of the household and the little mouse blink, strategically mouseholed. But up jumped Custard, snorting like a dungeon, clashing his tail like irons in a dungeon with a clatter and a clank and a wiggling squirm. He went at that pirate like a robin at a worm. The pirate blinked at Belinda's dragon and drank some grog from his pocket flagon, fired two shots, but they didn't hit, and Custard gobbled him every bit. <laughs> <laughs> Belinda embraced him, Mustard licked him. No one mourned for his pirate victim. Ink and blinking, he did gyrate around the dragon that ate the pirate. <laughs> Belinda still lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little gray mouse and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon and her Relio Trulio, little pet dragon. <laughs> Belinda is as brave as a barrel full of bears and Ink and Blink chase lions down the stairs. Mustard is as fierce as a tiger in a rage. But Custard merely cries for his nice, safe cage. <laughs> that was the tale of Custard the Dragon by Aquamash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>